going on guys today we're going to be going over cei and then after that we're going to be going over you guys of course and we're going to be going over some of the swing trades that i'm going in right now so just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoy it and let's get right into cei here and see this mess all right so first off we're going to go ahead and look at cei here and see what it's doing today and i actually got an alert about this stock yesterday it was right around when it was uh, i believe it was a dollar 20 and i actually thought about buying it i was like hmm cei because i know that there's a huge following for this stock and that tends to make the stock pump up but i was also very cautious because you know like i know cei and it's it's a pump and dump stock basically so i was going through looking for some news on it and i didn't see any news there was there was absolutely no reason for the stock to be running up so i was like mm, it's kind of a red flag for me i don't want to i don't want to get in this because i don't i don't trust it but yeah if i got in at a dollar 20 and had it overnight I, you know i would have made a lot of money on it but as traders we all have rules and it's always good to try to stick to your rules and i'm just saying that because this stock has burned me before because it's been running up before and i got in it and and then you know what happens it just starts dumping and that was actually when it had news too so and, and this time it didn't even have any news from what i can see and then of course today it kept on running it up it actually ran up to a high of three dollars and eleven cents and i thought to myself maybe i want to get in this again but uh, i don't you know it's it's bound to dump hard here and of course i didn't really trust and it was going up way too high and if we look down here at the rsi this is another reason why here see if i draw a line it has lower highs and that indicates that the buying pressure is going down even though the stock's going up the buying pressure is going down so eventually it's going to pull the stock right back down and i have a feeling tomorrow a lot of people are going to think oh this is going to be a good buying opportunity just because it's dumping like look where it's at now but i'm going to be very honest with you this is a pump and dump stock i know a lot of people don't like to use that word pump and dump I don't know why it's a pretty good word for me I think and I'm gonna be honest this stock could run up again tomorrow but this is a it's a it's a very shady stock I don't really think anybody can comprehend what this stock is gonna do I certainly can't comprehend it so that's basically why I didn't take that buy at a dollar and 20 cents just because this is a stock that has burned me in the past and I know that it's it's very wishy-washy not to mention this stock has been through a lot of RS's which is a reverse stock split and you can see down here where that stock actually came from it was about 70 cents but there are going to be some people that said oh i made a lot of money on it cei is a good stock yes you can make money on it but also you can really get burned on it if you hold your position too long so tomorrow's going to be a pretty interesting day on this stock i think it's going to continue on the downside and if we're looking at support here we're probably looking at about a dollar 50 ish so if the stock can't hold on that support level that's going to be a very good indication that it might start to reverse back up but as of right now we really don't have much to really go off of but i'm going to go off that 50 50 cents mark here and go ahead and put my support level right there so we're going to go ahead and see if it's going to hold that position right there and if it does hold that position maybe i might look at it but i don't really know we're gonna have to see and you can see when i make it bigger here that it is pretty hard support right there from where it was but you can see it's pretty prone to being pump and dumps i'm actually pretty surprised that it got up out of the penny area here because normally the stock just goes right back down to like 20 cents or whatever but we're going to go ahead and see if it can hold that support there and then we're going to go from there and this is one of the reasons right here why CEI was going up pretty good today. Look at that float, 1.4 million. That's a low ass float. If we go down here and look at the news, this actually just came out at five o'clock here. The company's basically responding to the activity of the stock, why it was going up so much, and there's no material disclosed or any information. So I actually saw this news right now, right when I was editing my video, and I was like, I gotta put this in because you know I didn't see any news or anything why the stock was going up. And of course there was no news all right now we're going to go ahead and look at ontx here and i got back in this stock i don't know if it was a good thing or not we'll find out but i basically got in it because i like that the low float is still there but the volume has decreased a lot you can see i did put this trend line in here i put this trend line in here to see where we're at and it's still on a downward trending motion right now and put it from these peaks right here and that's why i think it had a red day today because this trend line was pushing it down and it was starting to get into a squeeze and another bad thing that happened today we fell off the support level here at about 30 cents and now we're now we're underneath it so that's going to be resistance going in the future not to mention this downward trend line that we're going to have to break but when the stock starts going it definitely runs so that's why i'm in it right now i would like to see it break this trend line on the downside and if it does break this trend line on the downside i actually might even add more to my position but as of right now i'm just holding where i'm at all right now we're looking at home i actually got out of the swing trade today because it didn't break through this resistance here so I went ahead and collected my small profit on this one it wasn't anything big because i was trying to have it go up to eight dollars but uh, you know it's kind of looking like it might just start to go down in this channel and like i was saying this stock moves very slowly so it's 
it could take a while before it even gets back up to eight. But I'm kind of kicking myself because I actually should have sold when it came up to this resistance here at around 640. But once again, I was hoping for a break out of it and for it to really shoot up. And this is what you get when you don't listen to yourself. You lose money. Even though I made money on the trade, I could have made even more. All right, now we're taking a look at you gas here. And comment down below. I want to know if anybody is still trading this right now. Because I actually had a buddy of mine who kept on texting me, what's going on with you guys? What's going on you guys? Like he really wanted to get into it. I'm like, I'm staying away from it. So yeah, just comment down below and let me know if you're actually in the stock right now or are you, what are you doing with a day trading or are you trying to swing it? But it's not looking very good for you guys as of right now. So we got a low here at about $7.65. Yeah, so we did have a green day yesterday. So I was right on that one. Not much of one like I was saying, but a green day nonetheless. And then today is coming right back down. Tomorrow's Thursday. So it might be pretty interesting to be trading this tomorrow. Although we have had warmer weather. So it's I don't think it's going to be good for you guys. We could see another big gap down tomorrow. But let me go over and take a look at forward slash NG just to see what's going on with this. And that way I can pretty much know for sure if we're going to have a big gap down or not. Oh, that's going crazy. Okay, that's what I wanted to get to the eight hour, four hour. I was like, what the heck? I can't see where this trend line is coming from. It's a trend line going up. So that's going to be resistance. And it looks like I could actually move the trend line down a little bit because it looked like it did it did bounce off of it and that's why it came down today. And I think we're gonna be having another red day tomorrow would be my guess. I'll tell you what though, you guys is getting very close to a reverse stock, very close. When it gets to be around that seven, five dollar range, it's get, it's close to it. It's very close to that reverse stock, which if you just got into you guys, you shouldn't really worry about it because you're really not gonna lose any money unless it gaps down big tomorrow. But when this does go through a reverse stock, I'm guessing it would probably be like a one to 50 or something like that. But we haven't really had a big gap down or up since this happened right here. We might actually, get one of those tomorrow maybe and then especially with the report coming in out because it's not looking too good for natural gas i'd imagine and while we're at it i just wanted to go ahead and look at the spy right here i haven't looked at it in a while i know we've been doing pretty good this is just crazy i never would have thought that we would have been running up this much call me crazy but it kind of looks like a reverse head and shoulders pattern am i crazy or does that look like a reverse head and shoulders pattern for the spy here if this is true we're really looking for a nice run here on the market so which means we got to get ready every day in case one of these stocks starts ripping all right guys thanks for watching my channel hope you liked it hit that like button down below if you did and if you're new to my channel don't forget that subscribe button so you get all this content that's coming out let's make some money everybody